am Apurva Arupa from Supermicro. I'm at GTC here and here I have Geetika Gupta, Principal Product Manager of Tesla Products NVIDIA. Uh, we are here to talk to her about the latest NVIDIA innovations, our GPU systems and more. So uh, Geetika, to start off, tell us about NVIDIA and Supermicro's collaboration and uh, what does product development play a role in it? So Supermicro and NVIDIA, we have been uh, close system partners for several years now. In fact, uh, Supermicro has been working, or I've been working with the Supermicro team uh, since like 2009 timeframe. And as a product manager, you know, my role or interaction with Supermicro starts with, you know, first letting them know about, you know, what are the Tesla products that are, uh, that we are planning to work on so that they can align their system platforms accordingly. And then we get involved in, you know, providing you the samples at the right time so that you can do the, your system qualifications. We provide you some guidance on what are the benchmarks to run and what are the key verticals to go after and how to position your systems for those verticals and workloads. Can you talk to us a little bit about the latest NVIDIA V100 32 gig launch that happened yesterday? I've been closely involved with the Tesla V100 and at GTC this time we announced uh, the Tesla V100 with 32 gigs of uh, HPM2 memory. And this is uh, very uh, attractive for several workloads in the deep learning and the HPC uh, domain because they are working on problems which, for which they need a large amount of memory to be residing on the GPUs so that they can work on larger problem sets or they can accelerate the time to solution. So we announced the Tesla V100 um, at this GTC and it has 7.8 teraflop of double precision performance and it has almost 125 teraflops of uh, AI performance. So it's going to be a great product for uh, HPC and deep learning. What do you think about our broad portfolio of GPU systems and what is the kind of impact or what is the response you're receiving from your customer base? The good thing about Supermicro is you know you have a broad portfolio of systems uh, with GPUs. So for an end customer uh, who's looking at adopting GPUs, you have a wide variety. They can start with a simple like two GPU system as they become more mature with their workloads. They can go to four GPU systems and then you have the eight GPU systems and you have the 10 GPU system. So you have a broad variety. Uh, that's another thing. And the other point is that you have also innovated systems uh, to incorporate our newest technology called the NVLink. Uh, which comes in a custom form factor and you have implemented that with a liquid cool design which makes it extremely power efficient so it delivers the best perf per watt uh, in a one new chassis that is pretty uh, pretty impressive specifically in a channel partner oh, I'm sorry a system partner what do you value what kind of characteristics do you value in a system partner Nvidia has a culture of uh, executing fast at the speed of light so when we work with our channel partners you know we want the same kind of you know fast mover kind of uh, culture in our partner because uh, then that partner is able to stay uh, in sync with what we are doing so I think you know in case of Supermicro we have uh, had Supermicro as one of our early uh, partners for generation over generation and uh, we have seen consistently that Supermicro is able to be uh, time to market for our products and that is uh, extremely useful for some of our early adopter customers. Where is GPU heading? Where is Nvidia heading? And what are some, what, what is the ecosystem, what does the ecosystem look like now? And what are some future innovations that you guys are planning? GPU adoption has really kicked in. Uh, in the last two years. I think uh, previously uh, GPU adoption was in the scientific computing uh, space and then gra you know, in the last two, three years we've seen a big adoption in the deep learning space. And I think this momentum will continue to uh, you know, just tear through uh, this, uh, you know, there's such an insatiable desire to get more and more compute. Uh, to solve more and more challenging problems. So I think you know, the, the market and the customers have realized the, uh, the performance benefit the GPUs offer. And they have also realized that a GPU server can do the job of uh, several CPU servers. So it's a more, uh, the more GPUs they buy, the more they save because they have to buy 
They can save on the number of nodes that they deploy. They save on the amount of power they need to run these uh, GPU-based servers. So I think you know all those advantages work in our favor, and I think you know that will drive the growth of GPU servers and definitely help the partners a lot who have invested in building systems around GPUs with NVIDIA. Thanks for your collaboration and thanks for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you.